All right, I'm going to play this video shortly, but I just want to give a background. You see this guy, Van Lathan. He used to work for TMZ. He's a very liberal character. Very, very, very liberal character. And in my opinion, in my opinion, men, masculine men, cannot, cannot be liberal. Masculine men that stand for something cannot be liberal. Because liberal people, especially the far left loons, accept any and everything. A grown ass man, a man will not stand by and watch adults twerk in front of children. No. Nah. But this emotional man here would. They don't stand for anything. Remember who was in TMZ arguing with Kanye West because Kanye uh, gave his opinion. Remember when Kanye West said slavery was a choice? That was that's Kanye's opinion. And basically Kanye West was saying, yo, everything in life is a choice. If you do want to be enslaved anymore, you can either try to escape or kill yourself. <laughs> but artists are not the most uh brilliant when it comes to articulating themselves verbally. That's why they put it in art, whatever art of their choice that they participate in. So, but that's Kanye West's own opinion. This guy, this Van Latham, this black guy here, was oh man, he got his panties in a bunch. He was like going all emotional and throwing tantrums in the office. Kanye West had to go and give him a hug to calm him down. That liberal man is children. They're just children. They've got a feminine mindset. Because the majority of black men have been raised by women, no men around. So they have the minds of their mothers. And their mothers raised them to be the guy, the man that she wished she had. So they're basically raising simps. All right, I'm talking too much now. Let's see what Larry Elder has to say. Larry Elder's taking one for the team, man. He's going over to this liberal podcast and just putting himself on the cross to get crucified. <laughs> You're talking about that there's this epidemic in the black community of fatherlessness. There is. What have you done to combat fatherlessness in the black community? He doesn't have a kid, though. They say, what have you done? What have you done? Pointing fingers like children. Well, how about we all get together? First, acknowledge there's a problem, then get together and fix the problem. You know, you can't go to therapy when you're adamant in your mind that you don't have a problem. First step to fixing the problem is realizing and admitting there is a problem. And fatherlessness in the black community is a problem. That's what it's most black people fill up the jail cells. Prisons. Okay, so you're accepting that we have an issue with fatherlessness in the black community. You're accepting that, I assume. I, I'm no, not. not. You said I, that. I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't think so. So, so you're you're not accepting it, and you're asking me, what am I doing about something? Well, no, no, you're you're my Larry, my, the my, my question is clear as day. <laughs> is that do you have you not done anything to combat fatherlessness? You, are, you, are, you, you, you just now acknowledged in your opinion that what I just now said wow. isn't even a problem. Larry, please answer. What have you done to combat fatherlessness? I'm waiting for Rachel to answer my question. Then I'll respond. I've already answered that question. So, so you want me to respond to a problem? To no, answer no, Larry, it's I'm, your I'm, campaign, Larry. I'm, Larry, this is your campaign. Quiet. Why are you yelling at an elder? Be quiet. <laughs> no structure. We don't have any structure in the black community. We don't have any hierarchy. Ah, oh, you're getting emotional and you're yelling at, at, at an elder. See, growing up, right? I witnessed something one day when I was going to school. So a girl having an argument with her father, right? And then she was raising, yelling at, the, at her father, elderly man. So the, he got he got upset and smacked her to correct her. This is like a 20 something year old girl. I was still a kid. He turned around and smacked her. And then she raised the hand like she was going to smack him back. And then she immediately like paused and came back to her senses. Everyone around was looking at her like, you're going to hit your dad? Try it then. Try it. Try it and see if we all wouldn't pounce on you. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> but here, you can just raise your voice at an elder, talk down on an elder, insult an elder, and everyone just looks. It's the tribalism, y'all. Oh, you're conservative. I'm liberal. You are the enemy. No. <laughs> no. Respect should supersede all that. Whether you're a Muslim and I'm a, I'm a Christian, whether you're Hindu and um, whatever, whatever, I'm going to res give you a certain level of respect, especially when you're an older man, when you're an, an, an elder. 
show them respect regardless of their ideology or viewpoint. They don't have respect. We lack respect in the black community. Seriously. Campaign. You're and I'll continue to call this out. Y'all can call me whatever y'all want. Campaign is about fatherlessness. I'm giving you the floor to talk about how you have combat fatherlessness because you say it is such an issue in this country and you don't want to answer the question. I'm happy to answer the question, provided that you acknowledge that there is a problem. Oh, Larry, get the fuck out of here. You're talking about... Telling the, gro telling the grown elder to get the F out of here. This is the this this is us, y'all. We have a serious problem. Serious problem. First off, we have to figure out a way to bring the man back into the house. Right? Start instilling some discipline in the community. Then the men have to come together and try and combat this whole this liberal ideology. It has to be stomped out. It has to be. We can't afford to be liberal. We need to build a community of people. You can't build a community on liberalism. That's how you destroy a community. Look at America right now. It's being destroyed because they've embraced that liberal ideology. Look at the rest part of the world. They're rising because they have a conservative mindset. We have to be rational thinking people to be able to build a community. Liberal people are emotional people. They're not rational. That's why they destroy communities. Don't listen. Don't listen. We're in trouble.